Okay, right now we continue auto complete search using jQuery UI. Okay, <coughs> for example, but uh, this time I to don't write it's uh, for a loop to convert into the array data. Okay, so we want to convert the student object into the array. For example, I close code here. Yes. And then we want to convert to array. Yes. When we use like this, it means that we convert the student object to array. So you don't use like this. Okay. And I want to run again. Okay, you can see it. Yeah, it is the same. But in the select row, the IDs, yeah, you must input the IDs value. Uh, you don't change it. If you don't change it, mean that the data value not so when you search. For example, I change to full name. Okay, right now I run again. So I type in here. Okay, you can see the interface layout. You, there is no display the data. Okay, you can uh, speak to see the code. Okay, I run again. So you can go to the in touch dot php you can show the value here okay consoles and then again but there is another data you can select so when you use it like this is in the full name you change the field to the values that's because it's jQuery UI auto complete as I know the IDs and the values okay okay i see again and run again you can search okay when i click the data cell here so then i want to change the id student okay? if you want to change student id okay right now you can see again Okay, they mean that the error is for example ID as student ID. Okay, run I say again and there is another play display display and you can click so the item this you can change like this. But in the value you you cannot you cannot change. Okay, for example, I go to the touch and I lose. Okay, refresh again. Yeah, you can see the data here. Okay, so right now I run again and search. Okay, you can click, you can see the 10 IDs. Okay. Run I in the auto complete, you can, if in the database to the ID, you can use like as a anymore. Okay. IDs. Okay, it is the same. But the value you, you don't, uh, you don't change. Okay. 
So if you want to use, for example, if you want to add a column uh, student data bus, for example, in the touch, yeah, I want to show you how to use the date and time. The data picker, for example, you can copy here. Right now, I import Dutch DLB. Yes. Push that. Yes, when I click here and show the date, the time because because I installed the the jQuery UI, you can see the notes module. Yes, I scroll down to see the jQuery UI. Okay, when you you can see the bus, and you can see the dead picker dot cs. Yes, I installed this, and when we use the dead as a dead picker, you can add the white chat. You can go to the UI, and the white chat. You can see the dead picker dot cs. <coughs> Okay, you can see plug in and get pickers. Okay, clean the white shirts. Okay, you can see the dead picker.js. Yes. When we use the like this, you can add. Okay, and go to the app.js. And I import the yes, we import the JS. And you can copy the yes and okay. Then I add the uh, add to add dot picker. Okay. Yes, I add the uh, see add dot picker again. One more. You can uh, copy C wash. And because dot you can add the CS. Okay, so right now we go to the intake dot bladder PHP. Yes. Right now I import <coughs> DOB <coughs> that <coughs> picker. Yes. As you can run and it's speak code. So the dead picker is another function. Yes, so when we add already, you can run mpm run dev. Yes, I. Okay, I. Yes, I. Or I wrong. And run again.
Okay, right now the MPM run development to compare good. Yes, I refresh and I confirm the error that time because already so I run again you can see the dead picker cell here okay yes this is the easy when we install the use npm okay okay Yes, in the there are many lessons that you want to learn how to add sim, menu.s, progress bar, resizable, slideable, slider.cs. And this is the uh, GS that we include into the app.js if you want to use another. Okay. And if you want to use the button.js, you can go to the uh, website check for the UI and you can see how to use the that picker dialog.js trackable menu mouse progress bar resizable okay and spinner tabs so is a uh, I want to just I want to show you this lesson how to use the npm install check for the UI yes I think that uh, you can know how to use the uh, jQuery UI with the install npm because when you use it like this, this is the easy and complete code from the website when install the jQuery UI. Okay, right now I want to just finish this lesson uh, this time. The last time I want you to subscribe, like, and share and especially comment on the my video okay say goodbye